Hi guys, I'm Marius from Alpha Attitude and today we're going to meet Gianluca from RR40 Serie. Hi Marius. Who's going to tell us a few things about their Giulia. Absolutely. So, can we go? Here we go. Fantastic. Okay, so now we are driving the, the first production car of RR40 Serie. This is after the presentation of the prototype in, uh, in July 2022. Exactly. Classic. We first saw this car last year at the Porto Pato Classic. It was a slightly different version. It was uh, it was a prototype basically, and this is the first working car, the first production exactly. car. Exactly. Also, okay. the previous one was working. Uh, I mean, uh, we we use it, it, but now this is the final design. Uh, this is the first production car, as we call it, and. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the donor car, it's a Giulia Quadrifoglio, it's a modern Giulia Quadrifoglio, in particular this is a manual one, and the body is all made of carbon fiber, the structural integrity of the car has not been touched, uh, and uh, the, the suspension are made for us by Bilstein. Okay. So what you did is like all the classic coach builders, so to say, you maintain the chassis, the structural yes. integrity of the car, of exactly. the donor Giulia, yeah. and you just work your way around with your own body with your exactly. own exactly yeah. all made of carbon fiber okay and uh, the exhaust is made by capristo okay and uh, the interior has all been revised by us with materials so we have uh, alcantara roof leather seats with alcantara tan contrasting with uh, gray so very classic uh, interior with uh, an exterior this one is Azzurro Nuvola, as we call uh, the color. That's a very nice touch. I uh, yeah. actually like this it's color a, more than the previous it's a, one. It's modern, but it's retro at the same time, so we think that's fabulous to say. No, yeah, it's evoking the Torche Vita yeah. years, the 60s. Absolutely. Now we can uh, have a list and... Uh, no, not now. Unfortunately, it rained a bit in the past hours, so... Uh, the surface is not as smooth uh, as it should be. No problem, we have a Giulia Quadrifoglio. In regards to the setup, have you worked something on the car? Uh, the setup, do you mean the suspension? The suspension, yeah. yeah. The suspension, the, suspension, the brakes. The suspension uh, are made by Bilstein uh, okay. and are tuned for us. Okay, so they, those are the adaptive suspension, yeah? Uh, no, there are no more. There are any more the adaptive suspension, but there is a, a firm setup that you can regulate, but you can do that manually. So you go with the tool okay. on the suspension. Let's have a list then. So yeah. the Caprista exhaust. Yeah. Driving a manual one is really such yeah, an that's, experience. Exactly, that's something particular about this car, that yeah. it, uh, the Donor car is one of the first Julias that yeah. was a manual. Yeah. Because unfortunately, the manual Giulia was discontinued after exactly. a year or so it's in production. more in production, it stayed in production for one year, two years, not more than this. However, you could offer, like for the future production cars, you could offer it in manual yeah. using a second-hand uh, used Giulia exactly. or a new one and that will be obviously automatic, right? Exactly, so standard, we offer an, uh, an automatic Giulia because we offer a new Giulia uh, directly by the dealer, so we From buy factory, exactly, so say, yeah. exactly. But if the customer wants a manual one, okay, we can offer that. Uh, but we need uh, to find it on the used market. Okay. So this is up to the to the customer. Uh, he can decide yes, uh, what he wants, and then we can do. It's the same for us. We are going to make uh, 33 units, 33 Julia uh, Serie. This is the zero zero, so this is uh, the thirty three plus one. Uh, this will be this is uh, this is ours. Yes, this and is going to stay with you. Exactly, we will never sell uh, she. I, I say she and not the it because uh, well, for, it's a Julia, me, obviously. It's Julia, so <laughs> obviously, me, it's a Julia. Absolutely. <laughs> vocal on the twist is yeah you can still yeah, yeah, can, yeah you can hear the deep voice so 
So what you did with the interiors, you've totally redone yeah. them, right? Yeah, Maintaining them. the, yeah, the, the original structure. Absolutely, it is all customizable by the customer. Uh, we did this combination of colors because we thought it was uh, the best representative for what we wanted to do. Uh, but yes, they are completely customizable and these are the, the interiors of a standard Julia, so nothing has been touched uh, in order to not, not to compromise the structural integrity, the security and the comfort of course. that a modern Julia can offer because yep. the, this is a retro mod and not a resto mod. So a retro mod, uh, we start from a modern car and we try to, to put it uh, in, a, in a dress of, uh, of, of an old time, of an era that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, while with a resto mod, you take a, an old car and you try to modernize it. This is not what we want to do. Exactly, that's what's interesting about this project. Whereas there are many, of course, uh, companies that are working yeah. on older cars and yeah. bringing them up to the newer standards or exactly. trying to bring them to the newer standards exactly. in regards to the design, you did the completely opposite. You took a modern car, a exactly. modern Julia, and tried to make yeah. it look like the classic Julia. Exactly. There's a bit of, uh, of traffic. Well, the sun is shining exactly. and uh, we're not the only ones who are out to enjoy the weather. <laughs> exactly. In a beautiful city such as Turin, which is uh, where we made the Giulia Rere Poriseri. So, as you said, the company is from Torino, exactly. and you're based in Torino, and uh, all the people you're working with or yeah. within your team are, um, are based in Turin, basically, exactly. right? Exactly. We try also the companies uh, with which we work with to be in Piedmont. So, we okay. try to, to do everything in this area. In this area? Absolutely. We are going to Zuberga, which is a quite a good place in Turin. Yes, it's one of the iconic, uh, well-known places in Turin. Exactly. And it will be your turn to drive uh, in All a right. few minutes. All right, can't wait. <laughs> can't wait to see how it feels. <laughs> I imagine. Before we switch to the driver, let's take a moment to have a look at the car Absolutely. from the outside. Yes, so as you can see, uh, there are the circular lights, the four lights, two big and two smaller as the 1962 Giulia sedan. Exactly, it's the front side of the classic Giulia. Yeah, there is the classic Scudetto, of course. The wheels are CNC milled, are forged. So, and are designed by us. So okay. this is uh, That's an in-house design, yeah? Absolutely, which uh, of course uh, reflects the design of the 1962 Julia. Uh, really, it seems that it is uh, zoomed, but... Uh, yeah, it's a nice yeah, big block yeah, of aluminum. 19, uh, 19 inch wheels, so it's a very big car. Still, still maintaining the original characteristics of the Julia. Absolutely, the yes. Same okay. size, uh, same everything. Okay. Carbon ceramic brakes, the quadrifoglio badge, of course. Can't miss it, yeah. Yeah. It has uh, to be there. <laughs> absolutely. A little bit of carbon fiber, not too much. Of course, the customer then can decide okay. uh, where to put carbon fiber exposed and where not. This is up to the, to the customer. From the side, I yeah. can see what you did or tried to do here. Yeah. Just replicate uh, the exact same side view of the classic Julia. Absolutely. Right? So the, you know, the, I don't know what to say in English, but the... Say it in Italian. <laughs> the sguscio. We call okay. it the, the sguscio. I don't know how to call it in English yeah. either, but <laughs> somebody will help us. Exactly. And also the lines uh, okay. uh, of the doors, in the middle of the doors, uh, are exactly the lines uh, of the Julia, the 1962 Julia. Yeah, I can see that part. In the right, end, the old Julia and the new Julia. In the end, the end also have been revised by us. This is uh, an in-house design too. Are made of aluminium. Also, the fuel cap okay. uh, is okay. not the standard Julia Quadrifoglio fuel cap. It's a classic uh, racing design. Exactly. Yeah. Um, on the rear side, we have uh, a central to exit exhaust made That's by impressive. Capristo, yeah, that, as we said impressive. before. Uh, we tried uh, to replicate the rectangular look of the 1962 Giulia taillight, okay. but we wanted to to put something Italian, you know? So we put round lights. The circular classics. Absol exactly. Yeah, so we tried to, car, yeah. to let the, uh, the two languages uh, dialogate. 
Uh -huh. So we put a rectangular aluminum cover okay. uh, on four rounded. Uh, so the outside cover that we see, yeah, it's actually it's aluminium. aluminium. It's Absolutely not a plastic yes. or carbon. Uh, Absolutely piece yes, it's painted. aluminium. Uh, okay. Also four lights in order to, to replicate the four lights uh, of the front exactly. of the car. But just with the circular uh, shape, exactly. like in a classic sports car. Exactly. The diffuser is made of carbon fiber as okay. the car, but this is exposed carbon fiber. Okay. So you can see it. And uh, we also wanted to recreate uh, the, in Italy, in Italian we say basso fondo, okay. the basso fondo of the typical of the, the 19th century yeah. Giulia. And uh, we put it also on the roof. Okay. So if you see it uh, straight forward from the back, you can see that uh, we replicate. Yeah, it follows and, uh, the same shape. Exactly, exactly. exactly. We wanted yeah. to do something uh, particular and uh, the airflow can also come down the roof okay. because uh, uh, it is not closed, but it is open. So the airflow can and Count. all the body, as you were saying before, it's made of uh, carbon. Yeah, all the body is made of carbon fiber, all the panels, but we have not touched the structural integrity of the car. Okay. Absolutely. The color is, uh, is a color, we, uh, uh, we call it, it Azzurro Nuvola. Okay. Uh, because it represents for us, uh, Nuvola is cloud in English. That's it, yeah, that's true. Um, so we think it's a beautiful color that matches perfectly with the car. As I is, said, uh, when we were earlier, yeah, exactly. it matches the, that vibe, that's, exactly. that it's classic modern, era of Dolce Vita. Yeah. Exactly. And uh, the contrast uh, of the wheels, of the handles, of the mirror caps, uh, and also of the rear cover is, uh, is a color we made. And is a nickel, titanium, a sort of, uh, of a mix between them. Yeah, a metallic. Color, yeah, 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 yeah. The the body is all metallic. Quite impressive. It has uh, it has a presence. You may Thank love you. it, or you may love it less, as uh, <laughs> some people have, have yeah. already <laughs> told us. Yeah. But it has a presence. But you I can tell you it. that when you see it in person, uh, you you change your mind. If you thought on the photos that it was not that good, when you see it in person, uh, it definitely has a presence. It, it changes. Uh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. On on the street is uh, amazing. Really, really amazing. Okay. You have to see it in person, in my opinion. When you see it in person, uh, it's another thing, really. That's true. That's true. That's uh, that's always true. You have to appreciate and see yeah. something in real life. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now we'll so, have a look at the engine. Yeah, absolutely. With a great pleasure. So this is the engine bay. And this is where the magic happens. Absolutely, yes. This is uh, a 562 horsepower. Okay. Julia Q engine. So you modified something? Really yeah, awesome. yeah. Uh, for now, this is uh, only horsepower, but then there will be. We are, there is a work in progress, let's okay. say, with uh, with a partner of us. Okay. And uh, and we, we are about to change some parts physically, some parts okay. of the engine, but uh, the, the horsepower will be around 562. Okay. 62 as the 1962 Julia. Exactly. So, so not for, a value, not a random value. So let's say. for whoever feels that uh, the 500 horsepower of the Giulia Quadriforio are not enough, exactly, you can offer yeah, something have, else. Uh, yeah, in this yeah, area yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, the cover is all carbon fiber. Yeah, and uh, that's it. Okay. Okay. So now we are ready for drive. I am. I am ready to drive. Yeah. It. Fantastic. Can't, can't wait to see how it feels. <laughs> I'm. It, I'm sure it will be a great pleasure for you. This is the key. Okay, also and, a special uh, yeah, key. Yeah, special key, and uh, you can drive it. I will. That's your tour. Okay. Fantastic. How does it feel? It feels planted. <laughs> it's low. Yeah. And it stays planted on the road. It's loud. Yeah. And that's the exhaust. Absolutely telling me about earlier. Yeah. It drives like a Julia should drive. Yeah, absolutely. With all manual Julia. Yeah. We don't see many of them on the road anymore. Yeah, that's true. It's a monster. We are not going to push it here. There's no space to push it, but even from the low revs and yeah. just starting it in the second, third gear. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, also the, the surface is a little bit slippery, but so we have to keep calm. <laughs> Go slow on the gas. Even though she would want something yeah. more, she would, yeah, yeah. she would definitely want something Absolutely. more from me. You can feel that there is a lot to unleash here. 
And one important thing is that if someone wants to push the car, you have to go on track. Because uh, uh, we never have to, to go over the limits. Uh, so if someone wants to go faster, there are tracks. Yeah, that's the thing with the Giulia portfolio. Yeah. One of the few cars that you can take it, like you can drive absolutely. your family around yeah. and then you can take it uh, to the track. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, enjoy yourself the maximum yeah. of uh, its capabilities. Slightly touch of the yeah, radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing more. Yeah, it's incredible how well planted it feels like. In, of course, yeah. the donor car is a uh, used Julia portfolio, obviously, because you couldn't find a new one that's manual. But that's it still it. feels like well put together, like a new car. Like yeah, yeah. But then has that the rigidity uh, of a new car. Yeah, there is a bit of suspension, so it is a step above, in my opinion. One standard Julia portfolio, which is already one of the best cars ever made, in my opinion. It's a lot like a race car. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you have to come for the seats and the, yeah. the nice exactly. steering wheel in leather. But the way it sounds and the way you feel the power, the potential underneath it, even on these short stretches. That's a nice job, okay? Yeah, thank you, thank you, Marius. The thing is that you want to push it and you want to push it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. it's addictive in a way because That's you're only starting to feel it and yeah. uh, obviously the public road it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. We are going into the limits and that's important. Yeah. So tell me a bit what's going to follow up this car. So you're starting about yeah, uh, production. Is, uh, yeah, right? You're talking is, about uh, production now. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. This is uh, the first prototype, the first production car. Then we're going to make 33 of these. And there will be another, there will be more projects like this, maybe an Alpha, maybe or not, I don't okay. know. And uh, I mean, I know, but I can't tell you. Okay, and, not at uh, the moment. Exactly. And uh, yeah, uh, there will be something more to come. Okay, looking forward to those steps then. Absolutely, it okay. will be a good pleasure for me and for us as a RRF, we say. It was short but enjoyable. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Marius. It's been a pleasure. For me too. For us Fantastic. too. Fantastic.